Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Let me get the book of Romans 13, 11. It's so much confusion out here on these streets in a city full of chaos and hatred. Read. It's the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring it out. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we, are, than we believe. Read again from the top. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. According to the scriptures, salvation is near for you so-called blacks. Right. You so-called Hispanics and you so-called Native Americans. The thing is, if you continue in your sins, you will miss out on that salvation. You wonder why all this judgment is happening on the earth. Look at this. Every five minutes you got silence. Don't make no sense. Read it again from the top. And that's knowing the time. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. You blacks and Hispanics gotta wake up and realize what times you living in. You think it's a coincidence that you got corona flowing in and out the earth? You think it's a coincidence why black and Hispanic girls are getting kidnapped at an alarming rate? Yeah. You think it's a coincidence why you black men are getting gunned down in the streets at the age of five, six, seven, eight years old? You got black and Hispanic babies getting gunned down. Free gunned up. down, ain't even get a chance to live yet. You wonder why that's happening? It's because y'all sin against y'all God. That's right. You transgress against God, and so judgment is what you got. You believe in white Je in white Jesus, so judgment is what you get. Right. You blacks and Hispanics are the chosen children of God. That's right. You sisters right here, you brothers right here, y'all gotta wake up and realize who you are. Stop calling yourself Mexican. Stop calling yourself Hispanic. Stop calling yourself African American. It don't make sense. Right. Read it again. Yeah, that. Knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. If you look at the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men, they are the definition of being asleep. We are the definition of being asleep. We got these nations ruling over us while we continue to take it. We continue to serve these nations willfully and don't even think twice about it. These nations gun us down in the streets and then we protest against it. Where is the protest when we kill our own people? Where's the protest when a Mexican kill a Mexican? Where's the protest when you got a black man killing a little black baby? But you got a white man coming to gun you down. The white man is the damn devil, but we ain't got to be afraid of the white man. It's our own people gunning us down in the street. Chicago is full of hatred for their own people. And you know why? It's because we don't know who we are according to the Bible. Come forth and learn who you are according to the Bible. You God's chosen children. My sister, let me ask you a question. What's your nationality? If you don't Mexican. That's your him. son. He Mexican too. You ever heard you an Israelite? I don't dare. You heard it before? How many young people? And that's what we out here teaching. You gotta teach him that. Because let me ask you a question. What's the difference between a Mexican, Hispanic, or a Latino? And peace and joy. So why do you labor yourselves that? The only thing that gets me you did labor yourselves that. That's what the white man labor. Come around here real quick. Let me show you something. I want to show you something. Come around here. Bring him around. You too. Come around here. Bring it out. You know why you call yourself Hispanic? It's because that right there. It's because the white man came over here and took this land from you and labeled you a Hispanic. He labeled you a Mexican. And labeled you a Latino. According to the Bible, come look at this sign right here. We from the 12 tribes of Israel. That's when you right. read the Bible, God had a chosen people. You know who those chosen people are today? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. We war against each other with this black and brown violence because we don't know we the same people. We literally the same people. But you know why it's so much hatred? It's because that is what we believe in. When we see the white man, we won't mess with him. We won't touch him. But if I see a Mexican or a black man that look like me, I'll be quick to gun him down. Quick to try to take something from him. Why? Because it's hatred. 
It's hatred within our community. Malachi, uh, what's that? Uh, controversy. Malachi 2 and 8. Controversy. Malachi 2 and 8. Controversy. Malachi 2 and 8. And that's what we are here to show you. You are Israelite. That's the prince of God. Don't allow him to grow up thinking that he a Mexican. You royalty according to the earth. Don't because if they come and ask him, what's the difference between it? Because they call me black, African American, Negro, colored. Why is there so much confusion on who we are? It's because we got separated from this. This is our heritage. The white man never never gave us the Bible. You know what the white man gave us? He gave us white Jesus. But when you when you read the Bible, do you read the Bible at all? Okay, but when you read the Bible, the Bible said that Jesus Christ had hair like wool and burnt skin. If you have hair like, who has woolly hair on the earth today? Woolly hair, hair like a sheep. The so-called black man. But dude, before you were conquered, you looked just like us. But you know why your colors were changed? It's because they came over here, raped and pillaged this country. They came over here and raped and pillaged this country. And now we serve them happily. We never even think twice about the fact that this land belonged to him, you. Before they came over and took this land, this is your land. So why is it that we take, we over here fighting for blocks? The whole continent of North South America was the so-called Hispanics and Mexicans land. Why are you warring for a block? The whole world was given to us. Why are we fighting for a corner? Because we destroyed as a people, read. It's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 1. What does the Bible say about the Hispanic man, the black and Hispanic man? Read. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. The children of Israel, that's the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the Dominicans, the Mexicans. It's nothing but the Guatemalans, the Mayans, the Native Americans. It's nothing different between them except the label that was put on them. We're going to label them Puerto Ricans. We're going to label them Dominicans. We're going to label them Mexicans. Look at this. Every five seconds you hear sirens in our community. Why? It's judgment. You believe in God? Why do you think God is terrorizing us like this? If God, because the world teaches that God is coming back as a white man with his hands open, saying, come here, my daughter. No, God is pissed off. God is pissed off with the world. You know why he pissed off with the world? Because his children sinned against him. His children, his children said, my daughter, don't wear pants, wear dresses. My son, wear fringes, grow your beard, be a man, take care of your family. Don't be a whoremonger, don't have girlfriends. Get you one girl, know her, and then marry her. Raise children with that woman. But you know what we want to do? We encourage being thoughts in our community. Chicago is the land of the thoughts. We made it popular to be hoes here in Chicago. Why? Why? And that's exactly why God is tearing the world up piece by piece. And he's going to continue to bring destruction to this place. It's not going to stop. They over there teaching that it's, it's challenges. It's not challenges. It's destruction. God is going to destroy this place when you read the Bible. God is pissed off. You think it's a coincidence that God is allowing babies to be murdered. That's what our people don't realize. They think that it's just the white man. It's not the white man. It's God allowing this. Everybody believe in God, but they don't believe that God is the one bringing judgment to the earth. News flash. God is the one gunning these babies down in the street. Why? Because y'all are wicked as hell. Because we want to sin against our God. Therefore, we get judgment. You know what happens when you lay from woman to woman? You get STDs. You know what happens when you steal from people? You get a bullet in the head. That's the judgment for when you sin against God. Watch what the Bible say. Read. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. That's you, sister. That's him. To be an Israelite means to be a princess and prince of God. Let me ask you a question. That's your son, right? If your son go out and do something bad with his friend, who you whooping? Who you disciplining? Why? And that's exactly what God said. God said, you blacks and Hispanics are mine. So when y'all sin against me, I'm judging y'all. Ask yourself why the white man can drop bombs on Japanese people, can kill over 100 million Native Americans, can go and take us blacks from Africa, bring us over here and kill us, and there's no judgment. Bring it out. Why is it no judgment for them? Because they ain't God's people. You God's people. You sin against God, that's why a judgment that comes on us as a people. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. To have a controversy means to have a beat. God has a beat. Make sure you check out that flyer and teach him who he is. Research that information. YouTube. Look it up on your phone now. Research the information so he can know he's not a Latino, Hispanic, or Native American. He a prince of God. That's he right. really God's chosen people. Not no white man. That's the real prince of God according to the Bible. That's right. Because 
There is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Chicago is the definition of this scripture right here. There is absolutely no truth, no mercy. You can't even get a pass for stepping on a brother's shoe. Bring it out. If you step on a brother's shoe right now, you might end up getting gunned down in the street. Just think about the chaos that's going on in our community. If you look at a brother wrong, you can get gunned down in the street. You know why? Because God said he got a controversy with you Hispanics. You so-called Mexican. You so-called blacks. Y'all sin against God, so God is gunning you down in the street. It, it ain't no coincidence why the black and Mexican man is getting killed. It's because you sin against God. We sin against God, therefore we getting judged. And until we wake up and realize that it's going to continue to happen, don't just stand across the street. Come over here and build with your people. We out here for y'all. We out for our people that's calling themselves black. My brother with the orange hoodie on, come build with me. We out here for you, my brother right here with the black. Come over here and build with us. We ain't like no Christian pastor and no church taking your money. We out here on the streets with our people. That's right. Just like the real prophets was. Right. And we come to show our people their transgression. If we continue to sin and continue to live this way, death and judgment is all we get. That's right. It's never going to be no prosperity in the land of Chicago. It's never going to be no prosperity in the land of Chicago for the black man. Never. Because this land wasn't made for you. Your land is Jerusalem. You over here to serve out of punishment. You came over here in chains. You over here dying for a block. You dying for a block. Wake up and realize who you are. You are the royalty of the earth. The white man ain't no royalty. You the royalty according to the Bible. That's right. We the real gods of the earth. And we taking it back. Read. Hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants. You so-called blacks and Hispanics, God got a controversy with you. That's why your daughters are getting kidnapped. That's why the babies is getting gunned down. That's why we living in poverty. You over here dying for throwing up a feast. You dying to be a GD, a priest, a vice lord. Look just alike. You look just like the man that you gunned down. Right. Nothing but hatred for between you blacks and Hispanics and Puerto Ricans and you Dominicans. The same people full of hatred. Real. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. Ain't no real knowledge of God in this land. Because if it was the knowledge of God in this land, you wouldn't be calling yourself Mexican. You wouldn't be calling yourself black if it was the knowledge of God in the land. You wouldn't be calling yourself Latino. You would be calling yourself Issachar, Judah, Levi, Benjamin, Ephraim, Naphtali. Ain't no mercy in this land neither. You look at a brother the wrong way, he ready to gun you down. If you wear the wrong color, my brother right here with the red hat on. My brother right here, red hat. Let me talk to you for a minute. Can I ask you a question, brother? Okay, I'll listen. Read. Verse 2. By swearing and lying and killing. And what? And killing. And what? And killing. Chicago is the murder capital. Chicago is the murder capital. You blacks and Hispanics ain't got nothing better to do but kill each other. Why? Why? Our babies can't even get a chance to grow up. We got five-year-olds being killed. We not talking about babies dying from cancer. We not talking about babies dying from cancer. We talking about babies dying from bullets. Bring it out. Just think about how crazy that sounds. We not talking about kids dying from diabetes. We talking about babies dying from bullets. Nothing but hatred in this land. Nothing but murder going on in the streets of Chicago. And y'all don't even give a damn about it. How is it that our people are so destroyed that we okay with babies not having a chance to live? We talking about four, three, two, one year old babies, infants. We talking about toddlers. Toddlers don't even got a chance to grow up in this land. Nothing but hatred. Read it again. By swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery. Stealing and committing adultery. That's all our people know for is stealing from one another. You steal each other, why? Black man can't even have a wife without you trying to hit on it. Your sister can't even walk down the street without you trying to lay your rod in it. What the hell is wrong with our people? Breathe. They break out 
And blood touching blood. And what? And blood touching blood. It ain't the white man blood that's spilling. And we ain't condoning no violence, but y'all gotta wake up. It's the black man blood that's spilling. Bring it up. It's the Native American blood that's buried in the bottom and the black man blood at the top. Right. Until y'all wake up and realize that Mexican flag's going down proud. Don't be proud of that nonsense. We was brought over here in chains. Why are we okay with these conditions? When are we gonna snap out of it? Go back to Romans 13 and 11. We gonna stand on these street corners until our people snap out of it. That's right. Until our people stop thinking that it's okay to kill babies, we gonna stay on these street corners. That's right. Until a black woman put a dress on, until the Hispanic woman put a dress on, we gonna stay on these corners. Read. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring yeah, we're talking about the black and Hispanic men. You so-called Mexicans and Latinos, just for you. Read. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. If you can't look around at the judgment in the earth and realize that something is going on, you are in a deep sleep. You are, you got California in a blaze right now. The other day we just had an eight-year-old girl gunned down in the street. Bring it up. This is happening weekly in the city of Chicago. Everybody believe in God, but don't nobody believe in the judgment that comes with believing in God. The most high God is destroying this earth right now. That's right. Because of the wickedness that's in you. My brother right here with the black hat on. My brother, can I ask you a question? Make sure you check that flag out. And that's the problem. We don't want to hear the word of God. Bring it out. If I was a white man standing on this corner, the people would be flocking to the street corner. Bring it out. They over there teaching y'all nonsense and the people lined up on the corner. That nonsense that they teach is the exact reason why our community is destroyed right now. It's right. so you black and Hispanic men come together, judgment is going to continue to happen. You're going to continue to get gunned down in the street. Until you wake up and realize that we the same people, judgment is going to happen. Read. That's right. For now, is our salvation nearer than when we believe? And that's the reason why. Our people don't even know that salvation is made for them. Salvation ain't for the white man. Salvation is coming for you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. My sister, have you ever heard you an Israelite? Don't want to hear the word of God. Brothers right here in the orange shirt. Come build with us. I see you over there listening. Don't just listen. We out here for you, bro. Black Jackie, my brother right here sitting down. Come build with us. We out here for you. We ain't out here on no BS. We ain't out here teaching BS. We trying to get you to understand that who you are according to the Bible. That's right. You ain't no regular man according to the Bible. You a God on earth. That's right. When you read the Bible, brothers walking around calling each other gods. We the real gods of the earth. That's right. But being no Egyptology don't make you no God. The boss, give me that song. Uh, we gonna show you what the Bible means when they call you black and Hispanics God. You're the real rulers of the earth. Just look at history. History alone teaches that the black and Hispanic man ruled the earth. King David, a black man, ruled the earth. King Solomon, a black man, ruled the earth. We had Northern American, I mean, Northern Kingdom kings, Southern Kingdom kings. Don't just walk up and down the street and act like you don't hear. The police come, everybody want to scatter like roaches. Read. It's the book of Psalms. Chapter 82 and verse 6. My brother, this for you right here. You a God on earth. That's right. You a God on earth. Read. I have said, ye are God, and all of you are children of the Most High. Read again. I have said, ye are God. The Bible called a black and Hispanic man God. We're the real gods of the earth. That's, That's right. right. The white man ain't no God. Right. He only look like a God because you allow him to. You treat him like a God. You treat your own people like crap and treat these other nations like God. used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.